but when there is no fish you will remain there let me show you how jesus solved that problem immediately jesus shows up he says little children do you have any catch your time is being wasted there and then he says cast your nets to the right side and they caught fish that there was no more need to stay there he said now you can come and give me your attention i want to tell you something that is a destiny information but i can't tell you because there is no fish in your net come and then when he sat down he now said forget the issue of fish simon bajona lovest thou me now simon had gotten fish he said yeah lord you know he said no feed my lamb how will i feed when the sea is not giving me fish it takes fish to feed his lamb when there is fish in your house you can feed his lamb please hear what i'm telling you i can tell you why there is a widespread of joblessness is related to the spiritual state of many young people in nigeria because the moment you are a graduate and there are so the, the burden is on you your father sees you praying you say you are doing dry prayer and fasting he will first keep quiet one day when he gets annoyed he will open that door while you are praying and say i was a pastor before you were born don't be stupid go out as a young man and look for something you will be forced to round up that prayer in the middle of a revelation that will answer a generation's question this is not about money my brothers and my sisters this is about the destiny of a generation as a function of time a very wonderful man come husband and wife you got married happy couples until money came are we together until what money issues came now she has twins and the guy said he didn't plan for twins but that doesn't change anything are we together now and that's where the trouble starts no food to eat in-laws are calling they now start hiding their monies from one another smuggling it through third-party bank accounts to reach to settle people quietly they start suspecting one another stealing from one another what a sword could not do money did it would tear this family into pieces the man who started ministry with integrity and truth when he started the ministry they were using a mat but now that they need a building the budget is three billion and he says i can't waste this prophetic grace first you would follow it quietly just give as god helps you nobody's i'm warning give as god is is talking to you and they now keep quiet later he says okay oh, you will not see me free again because it looks like you people are abusing this grace This message is a message of exemption to take us away from that which can cause a man to waste his life and waste his destiny you can start ministry well as a pastor but the truth is that by the time your needs get overwhelming you will start choosing where to go say so let me see how many members first and how many givers let me watch a video somewhere did they raise money i want to be sure of what because i'm leaving my wife and my children i'm hoping that this is the ministration that will bring my child school fees then the day you get there rain falls and people don't come and you are angry while you are preaching and people don't know why because you've calculated it look let, let me tell you something my brothers and my sisters if it is god you want to serve you will not serve him carelessly you serve god with intelligence there are things that must be settled to allow you the time to worship god are we together you always hear me say it that people go to pray and spend six hours you think they are crying for souls you think in the prayer they are having encounters they are worrying 80% of the time they're on the ground thinking just because they are not out for you to see you can think that they've spent six hours praying Lord why is my life like this is this how I will, will I serve you and die this way is this how everything about my life is going to be 
and while that is happening satan will manipulate someone to send the text to say i'm sorry i didn't want to tell you but i need to tell you i've watched your life and this your serving god is a shame the devil will use it and add you see you see god you see what i'm saying now it's a shame they say it's a shame and you will get up with a negative conclusion that as far as me and god have you seen people who tell you i used to do this don't if it's tongues i prayed in tongues more don't even bring that issue night vigil i started my night vigil from four till they will tell you that say yours that you are doing just nine to two is that vigil i prayed from ninety to where is the god our children will not go into slavery because of hunger are we blessed yes that you can lock your house with your wife and children and say this week we're spending time with God and when Caesar comes you say Caesar I won't open the gate check somewhere there there are fishes pick your coin and go back Caesar will always go back when there is coins the strength of Caesar is when there is no coin he will harass you just when you want to worship God some people from your village will just come in a van that they came to greet you they say we've heard about what God is doing and we, we, we just came to spend time and now you are in a tight corner because you have to honor them the budget already is running into something that will stop your prayer how will i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how will i bow my knees before you and then bow down before a man no way no way because you this morning now listen very carefully the bible says jesus is speaking and he gave a parable he said the kingdom of god is likened to a man having a pearl a precious pearl and that it fell somewhere in darkness and the first thing that man did was to find a candle to find what to recover the the treasure you need two things a candle and a broom he said he got a candle lit that candle and began to sweep that room wherever that pearl is you must come out to sweep the room and the moment it came he found it so when you find out that something is not in your life you need light the light of God exact spiritual illumination not just a random communication of truth there is an exact body of truth allocated for the financial blessing of the saints it's a body of knowledge that can be exhausted it's not random the truths of scripture will not cover for themselves randomly no you are you can be blessed and anointed and heal the sick and still be poor because the truths do not replace they complement so the presence of one truth will not automatically solve the problem of another truths are like the buildings the rooms in a house you always hear me give this example i can have two keys out of 10 rooms i may have the key to the restroom if i want to ease myself then fortunate for me i have the key but if I do not have the key to the kitchen and I'm hungry, the key to the restroom would do me no good. I will hold the key to the restroom. I have a key, but not the key allocated for the kitchen. 
and there are times you open these keys in different ways there are some you turn three times there are others you turn a padlock there are others you have to open a lock you have to know the key that opens the room that you desire you are my God a generation can be blessed and still passionate about God we were not designed to choose no to choose whether you want to be wealthy or spiritual that choice was given by religion not God are we blessed please you can reject poverty from a carnal sensual materialistic standpoint I hate poverty I hate poverty because there is already lost there are we together now and so your your hatred is is a derivative of lost not understanding but you can genuinely hate poverty because of the effect you have seen it cause your life and the kingdom there are many of you today you got books from the throne that are supposed to go to the nations but this god of mammon stamped your impact and kept it at a level you said god told you that this material should reach the nations there are people who have died today and it's money that killed them there are people who died today is poverty that killed them poverty is a spirit it can kill there are people in marriages today that should not be poverty held them like an usher directs you to a seat and says sit here i redirect your destiny not by a discussion i use hunger to take you away from the will of god are we together now let me share with us two keys do we still have time for two of them we thank you oh god for giving us understanding it is understanding that sets men free the entrance of thy word giveth light and then it gives understanding to the simple so the next time you see poverty remember time don't remember ego don't remember they will say i'm not succeeding leave all that one time my destiny is suffering right now because there's no, there's no money the health of your marriage your relationship your children there are children who have been delayed today by poverty poverty chose that you will not go to school for the next four years and they remain there and let me tell you this it is dangerous to prosper alone it's the same thing as being poor if all the brothers of joseph had the same dream joseph will not go to prison but because one over 12 one over yes one over 12 had a dream the 11 says so what are we in nigeria today the average man no matter how greedy and wicked you are there are at least four people praying that you rise so that they can eat are we together yes. so the issue of your need being met does not mean the problem has been solved your wealth must be transgenerational for you to really rest enough to pay for every argument that can come enough to pay for the conflict no matter the wickedness the jealousy the the contentions no matter how many people caesar sends they can all go back with their gold and let you focus on the things of god this is my desire transformed version of you that will make those possibilities come is not there now we continue to struggle to get these things one by one and they come and the law rejects their stay that's why many things we receive will create physical scenarios and leave us 
it may come as a loss in business listen to me it may come as whatever you will have a physical explanation but i am telling you it is the invincibility of spiritual laws you will believe that the money left you because you invested in a bad business is the obvious answer not the right one you will believe that the relationship left you just because um, the people are not nice it's not true you attract to your life the possibilities that reflect the growing version of you 